Hi guys, in this video we will discuss about water hammer and we will try to implement this aim in the ANSYS Fluent Academic version. So on the left hand side you can see uh, the valve is in a closed position. So prior to the water hammer, liquid initially flows at a constant velocity through a pipe. So when you try to open the valve, the liquid valve has a constant velocity and it flows with a constant velocity along the pipe. And then you try to close it instantaneously, the valve. So then there would be a sudden pressure spike that will flow in an oscillating manner. So that is the wave that is formed due to that sudden pressure rise. So that sudden pressure rise or spike is called as water hammer and it is been uh, derived in uh, as delta P is equals to rho into C into delta V. So uh, C is the velocity of sound uh, and delta V is a sudden change in velocity that is from initially to the constant, it uh, suddenly becomes zero. So maybe that can be that uh, uh, it can be 3 or 4 or 5 meters per second, we don't know. Uh, so, the, so delta P is equals to rho into C into delta V. Uh, delta P is the uh, current uh, pressure spike and delta V is the change in velocity. So it has some constant velocity and becomes 0, that is the change in velocity. And the density is a variable uh, with respect to uh, space because it is a compressible fluid. In order to have this pressure wave to get transferred within the fluid we need to have the compressibility effect or else we cannot uh, have the wave motion to transfer in the water or in any fluid so we need to consider the compressibility effect or the variability of density in the water hammer so then the instantaneous wall closure means that valve or the wave travel time should be equals to 2 l by c the l is the length through which it need to travel and c is the velocity of sound at least the time required to close the wall should be 12 by c or less than that. So if the uh, length is uh, 100 meters, so 2 into 100 meters by uh, velocity of sound in water if you take as a 1495, so that should be the time uh, with which you need to close your wall in order to have this water spike or water hammer or pressure spike. So I just want to show you the images of uh, sudden pressure rise and the breakage of those pipes and the sudden pressure rise and which causes the damage to different walls at different junctions and these are uh, the bellows where the uh, due to sudden pressure spike the damage has been occurred so it is very, very clearly visible to you uh, the damage that the sudden pressure spike can cause so now we will try to uh, simulate created in a space climb uh, a circle and have extruded it so you can just measure it so when you try to measure you can see it is 20 mm diameter and this uh, extension or extrusion length is so 100 mm so 20 mm diameter is extruded to length of 100 mm I'll just show you the mesh representation where I have done. Uh, so in the mesh, I have created a just inflation layers onto this, and I have created a mesh of uh, 1.8 into uh, 10 power minus 3 meters as my element size, and I created the inflation where you can see this is the body what I have selected, and this is the face on which I have created an inflation with the maximum layers of 5 and growth as 1.2. So general setting what I have given, and this is the inlet, outlet. And this is the wall on which uh, this is the wall of that fluid and I will show you the fluid settings what I have given so in general settings nothing is the pressure based transient condition I have given in the viscosity I have activated K epsilon realizable and scalable water treatment and the in materials this is very important I have edited and created the water with the density as a compressible liquid with the density as a compressible liquid that is very very important in order to have this uh, sudden pressure spike in the water hammer procedure and in the cell zone conditions for fluid I selected water liquid and in the boundary conditions this is the inlet pressure what I have mentioned So the pressure is uh, 50,000 Pascal what I have mentioned here with these as the normal settings turbulent intensity and turbulent viscosity 
it's okay and outlet is the pressure outlet remaining these things have not changed anything the pressure outlet the back flow difference frame is absolute and the gauge pressure is zero with the back flow turbulent intensity and turbulent viscosity ratio is 10 Uh, so with respect to this, I have already uh, created report files and uh, report plots also. I will just show you the report plot what I have created. So I will just go to report uh, this one. I will add and edit and I will show it to you. So area weighted average at outlet, the pressure I have created as a report definition. And I will create other report definition, maybe the other one, uh, just to create a new other report definition. So at the plane 4, so plane 4 is created at the center of the pipe. So static pressure, report plot, report file and print to console. I think report file is not necessary now. Okay, it's okay. So I've created two plots, one is uh, this one and the other one is this one. These are invalid, uh, I can delete this. And now, uh, so this is the other major important one. So now I will try to create or turn the pressure outlet into wall on a face sudden. Right, so for that I need to write a scheme file. This is the scheme file what I have written. So you can see the condition brackets open less than RP get by R flow time. This, was, this is the actual flow time. If it is less than this time, the zone type or the six zone type six means you can see here my zone type is six here these are id zone id so that should be pressure outlet until the time is less than 0 0.401 now if the time is greater than 0 0.401 or 1 into 10 power minus 5 so it need to turn into wall and these conditions are nothing but when you try to see the wall condition so this is a sample wall condition maybe i will just uh, show you in the fluent itself i'll just copy paste it second so now this is the thing so wall it will ask for zone id or name our zone id for wall is 7 id is 7 right enter next wall motion you just open this then it will be much more clear to you so wall motion is it stationary or moving motion boundary condition is stationary change current value so i don't want to change the current value it is no n o enter next shear boundary condition change current value no n o enter so these values of 7 n o n o all these are mentioned here that's it nothing more than that so when it is less than 0 0.401 this is the outlet pressure outlet when it is greater than this value it will turn into a wall and the wall conditions are this that's it and after that we need to read that scheme file we need to save that uh, we can uh, have this in a notepad and while saving we need to save as dot scm and this need to be in the fluid folder you can select this i have imported Maybe I need to close this uh, one. No. No. Zero point five one. So, so now uh, I just try to import that. 
read that scheme file which is present inside that the fluent folder okay so that is red the surface name yeah this is a uh, report definition i have deleted it's no problem it is uh, loaded here successfully so after that we need to keep this in execute commands and command 1 for every time step command file read macro hm.scm so for every time step it tries to read this and check whether the execution of this file is happening or not okay so now everything is ready uh, maybe i'll just uh, need to initialize it i'll initialize this I'll go to solution animations. Select this folder and uh, so the counter two. Okay, this uh, the counter two. Uh, This is total pressure at the plane four. Save this plane. Close. Okay. Now this is uh, counter three. Here it. I'll keep this as outlet. Save this plane. This is the outlet which will be turned into wall after uh, one e power minus five seconds. So I'll just close this and I'll select this as my folder weight. This need to save. Okay. So then I'll try to run the calculations. Uh, so this is the time step size. This time step size is selected on the basis of two into L by your C. C is fourteen ninety five. What I have considered. 2 into L, so L is the 100 mm by 495. So this value is less than that. So I'll try to click on calculate. Uh, maybe you can see the current spike. Something uh, okay. This, these, the uh, we are, which are invalid, we need to delete those things, or it will not start. So most probably it will start now. So this is uh, approximately one v per minus six, right? So it will take uh, ten, uh, at least ten time steps. After ten time steps, on a sudden it will, uh, as it closes, there will be a sudden pressure spike. You can see this. So it is hundred times steps, not ten.
so you can see the sudden spike uh, so you can see on the screen i have uh, stopped the simulation so uh, this is the sudden uh, change in pressure and it goes in going down and again it will come up so it would be like a sinusoidal wave so which will come down go up come down go up so you can see here this is the condition what we have mentioned uh, 50000 pascal and the wave has been uh, transferred from the closure to this point and when it is coming to this point uh, actually it would be at uh, 50000 pascal right so again it will not allow the wave to pass through this and again it goes back so comes this side goes back comes this side goes back so that that would be very clear uh, when i'll extract the video and show it to you so i'll try to extract the video also for you so that uh, you can see uh, in much more uh, deeper sense i'll just uh, show it to you on the screen so you can see uh, i'll be uh, just showing it here once again so uh, initially the condition is uh, the 50000 pascal here it is uh, 0 pascal so when i try to start it sorry this is this is the not initial condition this is the, at the close condition i'll just show, show you the initial condition first in increment yeah so the, this is the time step at sixth uh, time step so when uh, now the pressure like uh, it is a uh, 1 10 power minus 5 what I have mentioned so after that we are suddenly close in the wall so now check it down so on now on the sudden closure the wave starts propagating high pressure wave is coming in this direction so when it is coming in this direction the pressure is very high the pressure is here low but here 50000 pascal is already maintained so it can it will allow only some wave to go and the remaining wave again to come back so then a wave travels back because it is here the 50000 pascal is already present it cannot be removed so it goes here then it comes back again is good back right uh, so i'll just try to extract the video and i'll uh, just try to play the video for you guys so that you can understand Ah, uh, this other animation uh, where it is present, uh, you can just check it on. And this is a wall of the uh, closure. Initially, it is a pressure outlet. On a sudden, it turns into a wall. Now it turns into a wall. So now, as it turns into a wall, there is sudden pressure rise on the wall. You can see. So the wave is going here. Again, it will retrace back. so when it is going here the pressure drastically reduces you can change the pressure reduction here just uh, wait for a few uh, time steps you can see that so yeah now we will uh, see so there is a negative pressure on a piston right uh, so i'll just try to extract the videos uh, and uh, as end of the session i'll keep the videos also for your display so please do subscribe the channel and encourage me in doing more number of videos uh, and different concepts all together thank you